what is combustion dear students can i know what is combustion all right anybody else let me see yes anybody else all right very good that's good so dear students what we want to understand today is lying in something now what is flame then then what is flame if this is combustion then what is flame anybody the process of burning substances in presence of air with the evolution of heat that's good good only this is okay all right let's begin now here my dear students as you all know that we have to study combustion and flame so why do we need to study this chapter we need to study this chapter for following purposes to study combustible or non combustible substances to study ignition temperature to study the principles and types of fire extinguisher in use to study different types of combustion to learn the conditions necessary for combustion to understand flame and its structure to study luminous and non luminous zones in a flame to learn about fuels and their classification to know characteristics of an ideal fuel to study calorific value of some fuels and to study harmful effects of pollutants because when combustion takes place it will lead to some kind of pollution so let us begin our class dear students if we try to observe this slide you will get a lot of idea in this first thing is that if you are taking oxygen into your body after having your food and all and your food burns in the presence of oxygen this produces some kind of energy that energy is useful for you to perform your life processes and then in order to get that uh, capacity to do work this energy is utilized my dear students when we take food then this food is burnt in the presence of oxygen but where inside the inside the inside the living inside the living cells good so inside the living cell it happens it means that the process of taking food and burning it in the presence of oxygen in the cell can we call it combustion then can we call it combustion anyone how many of you are uh, somebody right here okay yes so let me create a poll over here let me create a poll 
क्वेश्चन इज प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एनर्जी इन साइड आवर बॉडी आवर बॉडी After burning the food in presence of oxygen is called combustion. Now, how many of you are in favor of yes? How many of you are in favor of no? Option one is yes. Option two is no. Option three is God knows. God knows. Next. Now, please uh, put up the put up your vote, my dear students. Please put up your vote, and voting line will be open only for one minute. Voting line will be open only for one minute. Come on. the voting line is progressing at a very high speed let's see can we call the process of producing energy in our body by burning food in the presence of oxygen combustion till now 78% are yes 80% are yes 76% 77% yes 22% no out of 22 responses have been recorded so far come on come on put up your vote it doesn't take more than 1 second just click one option and submit 75% and 25% ratio is 3 is to 1 70 30 hurry up 24 responses Sixty-eight, thirty-two. Out of twenty-five responses, hurry up. Submit your vote. Sixty-eight, thirty-two. Out of twenty-five responses. don't put yes in the chat box put up your vote my dear students please try to understand the system come on put up with the vote 64 60 36 no need to put up yes in the chat box for this question your responses should be recorded in the vote try to use it 66 33 it's now 2 is to 1 the class has two 
I mean, 66 percent of the class in favor of yes. Now it's 67 percent. All right, the voting line is going to be closed. Thirty responses. Now, thirty three responses. Time up. Please close the voting and please don't vote now, okay? Yes. And let me give you a very clear cut assumption, clear, uh, clear cut idea. There are basic differences between respiration and combustion. There are basic differences between respiration and combustion. Let me give you some idea in, regarding that. Okay. Let us come to here. Number one. For combustion. For combustion, it takes place. It takes place. Outside the. Anywhere outside the living body, it requires it can occur, it can, it can occur. at particular particular temperature it can occur at a particular temperature it can occur at a particular temperature number two number three is it occurs it occurs in one step it is a chemical reaction it is a chemical reaction or process chemical process that occurs in one step now for respiration For respiration, for respiration, I should make you understand one thing clearly that it happens, my dear students, it happens. Now it will be visible. Is it visible now? Okay. So the combustion, for combustion, I wrote over here that it takes place anywhere outside living body. It can occur at a particular temperature, at a particular temperature, which is called ignition temperature. It is a chemical process that occurs in one step. Okay. Now here, for this point, we need to write like uh, 
what are those points i should write over here it occurs it occurs inside inside a living cell now let me give you one uh, it can take place anywhere anywhere theek hai including 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 chalo baat karte hain is baat to it occurs inside a living cell living cell or ha uh, inside the living cell number 2 it occurs at it occurs at it occurs at a body temperature it occurs at a body temperature temperature body temperature it is a complex complex bio chemical process that occurs in multiple steps that occurs in multiple steps now decide yourself whether it is a uh, whether uh, you are going to still going to tell yes or no tell me now write in the chat box yes or no was that process combine uh, combustion or it is something else after learning all this give your response now give your response now i think it's coming no somebody started writing no 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 sir it will be no okay it is respiration okay good very good चलिए आगे बढ़ते हैं और देखेंगे इट्स रेस्पिरेशन ऑल राइट अच्छी बात है योर व्यूज विल बी चेंज्ड व्हेन यू लर्न समथिंग तो व्हेन यू आर गेटिंग टू नो समथिंग न्यू देन योर प्रीवियस अजम्पशन गेट्स क्लेरिफाइड if it is correct then it will be boosted it will be means totally you know like established if it is not then you will uh, want to switch to the correct opinions now theek okay? hai so right now you got three different points related to three dif two different events and then you started evaluating what whether your concept is correct or not so now you came to know that the process which is taking place inside our body is actually respiration so there is a difference between respiration and combustion theek okay? hai so in the, uh, in the other form i can also add up over here that energy is produced energy is energy is produced in the form of produced as produced as as heat and light heat light or sound theek hai na as heat light or sound light or sound energy and sound sometimes and ya or dono ho sakta hai sometimes it is not sometimes it is yes so and ya or sound and on the other hand here in the respiration the energy is produced energy is produced energy is produced as atp that atp means atp means adenosine adenosine triphosphate adenosine triphosphate it is called it is an energy currency energy currency means money in america is counted in dollar money in india is counted in rupees so in money means money if was energy then it would be counted as atp so it is called energy currency how much energy you have will determine will be depending upon how many molecules of atps you have so that much how much money you have it means they will be trying to count how many dollars you have how many rupees you have so if you are about to contact with if you are about to talk about money 
then for, for that you need different currencies but if you are about to talk to about energy then you you need to talk about atps all right so this is the difference between respiration and combustion so now i think your concept is clear related to respiration and combustion tell me give your thumbs up in the chat box if it is clear give your thumbs up in the chat box if it is clear all of you my dear students give your thumbs up very good so now chat your chat box has got so many uh, resources coming up you can you can take those resources as your uh, you know like learning materials right so now let's go back to our another page where we need we are trying to understand something new today dear students i think so what is combustion actually combustion is a process of burning of a substance in the presence of air or oxygen or oxygen with the liberation of heat and light with the liberation of heat and light here you need to understand one thing that i have written charcoal have you ever seen you have played with the fire you have played in the bonfire you have seen wooden uh, stoves or the the the, the um, oven or in the in the lpg cylinder stove gas stove you all have seen that something is burning in that and in the presence of what in the presence of what they are burning in the presence of air now primarily air has what component that supports that process so obviously it is yes it is uh, your it is your uh, this one well it is it is this right so this is o2 o2 means i have written here o2 is written here as o2 is written here as oxygen o2 is written here as oxygen so here i have written charcoal why i have written charcoal because charcoal is the is the depiction of something charcoal is a fuel charcoal is something that burns charcoal charcoal is as a residue charcoal is a residue charcoal is a residue is a residue which is left after burning of which is left after burning of wood charcoal is a residue which is left after burning of wood so here this is actually add used as fuel later on my dear students when it is burned it is actually depicting carbon it's the representing carbon so when it is burned in the presence of air then it gives something which which is called carbon dioxide which is carbon dioxide which is written as co2 and it is also giving us heat which is uh, which is uh, necessary for uh, any kind of activities you can see c for carbon this is a black color this is charcoal in the presence of oxygen which is produced by the green plants and then it is given up as as co2 the co2 is a carbon dioxide now my dear students i am writing generally that carbon when combines with oxygen then it gives carbon dioxide ye ho gaya chemical reaction number 1 if this is if somebody asks you write a chemical reactions involved in the in the combustion then you should write this part carbon plus oxygen gives out carbon dioxide but i will tell you when not to write this and i will also tell you when to write this theek hai so here this is the basic definition of combustion combustion is a process of burning of a substance in the presence of air or or oxygen with the liberation of heat and light you have also seen in class in the chapter of you know like um, chemical reactions like metals and non metals in the metals and non metals you had studied that magnesium ribbon when is burnt in the presence of oxygen gives metal oxide so yes some uh, like that only here is the is this is also an oxide only it is dioxide rather we can call it as a dioxide theek okay? hai तो हमने हम क्या कह रहे हैं यहाँ पे कि दिस कार्बन इज अ नॉन मेटल व्हिच व्हेन इज बर्न इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इट गिव्स डाइऑक्साइड ऑफ द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड ऑफ द कार्बन एंड इफ इट इज इफ इट इज हीटेड विद द वाटर देन इट कैन गिव हाइड्रोजन एच टू सीओ थ्री कार्बोनिक एसिड सो येस यू यू सेड दैट नॉन मेटल वेन बर्न इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन दे गिव दे गिव एसिडिक ऑक्साइड यू हैड ऑलरेडी लर्न इन द मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स आई थिंक दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज क्लियर 
Give your thumbs up if this slide is clear. Give your thumbs up if this slide is clear. Give your thumbs up if this slide is clear. Definition of combustion is clear. Give your thumbs up if this slide is clear. Yes, I am getting this slide clear. Well, uh, let us move ahead now. Dear students, we are trying to understand next thing now. There are, you should actually do an activity. Make a list of materials which you see in your daily life. Huh? And you try to do certain activity under the supervision of elders and see which of the materials burn and which of the materials don't burn. Which of the materials burn and which of the materials don't burn. They, then you will be able to make a list of materials which you see in your daily life and classify them as combustible and non-combustible substances. All right. So the conclusion will what you will draw is substances can be classified into two categories. The first category which can burn easily. When you bring them in front of the matchstick or any kind of flame or any kind of ignition substances, then they will catch fire and they will burn easily. For example, if you can, if you can, if you, mm, if you can just I'm, I'm i'm switching up to the switching the screen to somewhere else i'm switching the screen to somewhere else dear students let us see switching the screen to somewhere else in that case i'm switching this to to the here and in that i will take you here so in that if i if i try to make you understand something combustible and non combustible substances substances Substances. I think you are able to see the screen which I am trying to show you. Yes. Right. So substances. One substance that can be burned easily. Wood. Uh, it can be burned easily. You all speak up. I will write. You dictate me what to write. Come on. All of you. Unmute your mic and speak up. What can burn? What cannot burn? Paper. Chalo dried leaves dry leaves plastic plastic okay fine next matchstick chalo matchstick lelia matchstick anybody else sorry Can you please be louder? Coal. Okay, coal. Anybody else? Somebody was speaking. Saravaj is speaking louder, please. Clothes. Acha, theek hai. Clothes. Anybody else? Petroleum. How can you skip all these things? How can you miss out petroleum? How can you miss out? Sorry? PNG. CNG, LPG, kerosene. How can you miss out all these things? Right? Acha chaliye. Ye ho gaya apka. Ha, theek hai. Wax, diesel. Okay, diesel. Yes, good. Substances are this. So, ye substances jo hain, these substances catch fire, right? These substances catch fire. So they can be treated as combustible, combustible substances. They can be treated as combustible substances. Okay. Now we are going to There are some substances which do not catch fire. Which do not catch fire. Those are, suppose we have written non. They do not catch fire actually. So they can be treated as non-combustible. Non-combustible. non-combustible substances. Dear students, in this case, we need to understand that non-combustible substances do not catch fire. So why do they not catch fire? We will learn about that, that thing also. But don't worry. Now we are trying to give some examples of what can be the combustible and what can not be non, uh, what can be non-combustible. So let us see. Now you list up. What are the non- Come on, come on. Yes. 
metals chalo metals do not catch fire easily next anybody sorry stone okay stone is a non combustible okay fine stone next roots please type in the chat box please type in the chat box glass okay good glass glass weight leaves i will write add up over here weight leaves sand okay sand good cement bricks somebody is writing bricks and cement okay clay also soil also you can write these all the things soil cement but sometimes cement catches fire iron metals likh diya humne yes water water is a non combustible substance water कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज अ नॉन सपोर्टर खैर उसकी यूज उसका नाम हम लोग बाद में लेंगे सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स देयर आर दीस मेनी सब्सटेंसेस व्हिच आर नॉन कंबस्टिबल राइट सो अब हम लोगों को समझना आ चुका है कि व्हाट इज सम व्हाट आर कंबस्टिबल सब्सटेंसेस एंड व्हाट आर नॉन कंबस्टिबल सब्सटेंसेस राइट सो आई एम स्विचिंग माय स्क्रीन टू बैक टू आवर आवर दिस इज इट विजिबल टू नाउ टू यू ऑल ऑफ यू इज इट विजिबल Yes, the combustible and non-combustible substances. The substances are of two kinds, my dear students. Those substances which burn easily are called combustible substances, and those substances which do not burn easily are called non-combustible substances. In this way, you have classified the substances into two kinds: combustible and non-combustible. Next, suppose if I am combustion, then who are my friends? If I am combustion, then who are my friends? For that purpose, you need to do an activity. you can you you just need to do an activity that you should light a candle and cover it with a glass tumbler you should light a candle and cover it with the glass tumbler what do you observe there is a misspelled spelling in a, so please ignore it uh, what do you observe when you cover a uh, cover a candle with a glass tumbler what do you observe what do you expect give your answer in the chat box give your answer in the chat box give your answer in the chat box what do you observe when you cover a candle with the glass tumbler the candle extinguishes the candle extinguishes the flame extinguishes i'll take your question later on uh, the burning candle extinguishes okay very good burning candle extinguishes i am getting i am candle stops burning well very good candle stops burning what is something happening burning stops okay fine burning stops what is something happens that makes the candle stop burning what something happens that makes the candle stops burning stops burning okay fine very good what is what are you trying to speak about oxygen what is that oxygen what do you mean by oxygen vishwadeep the flame of the candle stops burning okay burning nahi hota wo glowing ho jayega theek hai bahut achhi baat hai oxygen what is this what is what is the because this is because the paper cup no 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 please do not switch to other point i am trying to under i am trying to discuss the first activity don't mix up oxygen becomes exhausted very good i give this like to the answer oxygen becomes exhausted oxygen gets exhausted very good oxygen burns out very good the used up it's it's got used up so good yes so oxygen oxygen humne try kiya vastav has tried little so i am giving like to this but rashika has to be particular rashika and vishwadeep have to be particular have to be specific what oxygen so completely you have to speak up that oxygen is used up in the absence of oxygen yes in the absence of oxygen the candle stops glowing so hum dekhte hain yahan pe ki when acha now second activity the second activity is that in which there is a paper cup you make a paper cup by folding paper like this figure and when and you fill up water in the paper cup fill water in the paper cup and bring it near the candle 
when you bring it do you think it catches fire easily type yes or no in the chat box do you think it catches fire easily type yes or no do you think it catches fire easily the paper cup with water won't burn easily so good responses they will not catch fire easily yes they will not catch fire easily now after some time what happens that this paper cup gets dried because water was evaporated now paper cup has got dried now what do you expect in the second figure in the second in the second figure what do you expect in the second figure what do you expect in the second figure then after the water is very good after the water is evaporated what do you expect in the second figure yes it will burn easily very good yes it will burn easily that's great that's great you will you are getting the concept clear and the communication is taking place two way like this yes it will burn easily so what is the two uh, what is the set of two things i want to display here there are two factors i want you to observe in the first case you are saying that oxygen was used up so what is oxygen what is oxygen then what is oxygen you said in the first picture it was not burning because the oxygen got used up what is the role of oxygen what is oxygen in the first activity that oxygen was not present so yes what was oxygen doing oxygen the presence of oxygen a supporter of combustion yes oxygen is the supporter of combustion very good presence of oxygen is the supporter of combustion oxygen is a catalyst yes the supporter of combustion is a catalyst i am getting the responses from everyone my dear students so here we want to understand clearly that for burning a substance we need first of all we need a supporter of combustion we need a supporter of combustion second thing second thing is that we were burning the paper we were burning paper it means that in the previous in the previous notes we know we noted that paper catches fire paper catches fire we noted here that paper catches fire so here yeah, paper was taken the paper will catch fire it means what is paper in this activity 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 <laughs> happen in the absence of oxygen as it is a supporter of combustion what asmita is any word missing in your answer sir combustion will happen in the absence of oxygen as it is a supporter of combustion is something missing in your sentence oxygen supports burning fine good god i am getting responses asmita please look after your sentence is something missing in your sentence ignition temperature is not achieved okay so that was another thing i am talking about what is paper in this second activity what is paper in the second activity what is paper in the second activity combustion will not happen i am asking oh, combustion will not happen correct theek hai so what is paper in the second activity come on come on reply what is paper paper is a combustible substance very good paper is combustible so that's what i want to make you understand here so the paper is a combustible substance so presence of a combustible substance is required in the in the process of combustion first is supporter of combustion second is presence of combustible substance and then when water was dried then only paper was about to be was able to be burned that means what was missing till water was there what was missing till water was there what was missing till water was there i am giving like to tushar ji's reply he gave the paper he gave there that mm, second one the ignition temperature is not achieved in the second one please try to be very very particular but yes i am trying to figure out what you are talking about lekin communication clear hona chahiye ignition temperature is the minimum temperature for the combustion to take place theek hai koi baat nahi lekin third thing kya chahiye humko that third thing is what we need is ignition temperature so there are three factor three friends of combustion if i am combustion then my friends are supporter of combustion my friends are combustible substances and my friends are ignition temperature ठीक है ना तो थ्री थ्री फ्रेंड्स आई हैव गॉट सो दिस इज इनपुट 
if these things are given in the cpu called combustion then combustion is the output theek hai if the three things are given in the condition then this give output as combustion to wo combustion kis prakar ka ho sakta hai what are the different types of combustion then then the combustion can be out that output can be at in 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 two conditions na that output can be in two conditions one that is complete combustion and another is incomplete combustion now here is one uh, point to be little uh, discussed with you all what do, is the output of that the possible outputs can be of two categories one is the complete combustion and another is the incomplete combustion my dear students so in that case incomplete combustion is what what is incomplete combustion let us understand what is incomplete combustion the combustion is of two kinds na so there are two types of combustion then one is the complete combustion complete combustion complete combustion complete combustion abhi humko aapko yaad aa raha hoga ki i had told you in the previous slide that you don't have to write c plus o2 co2 every time so what is the reason let us let me come to you let me come to that back to that point here so i want to make you understand here something that my dear students it is complete combustion what is complete combustion when combustion takes place when combustion when combustion takes place takes place in presence of ample amount of in presence of plenty of oxygen in presence of in presence of in presence of plenty ha na presence of plenty of oxygen plenty of oxygen it produces it produces it produces produces carbon dioxide carbon dioxide it produces carbon dioxide and this is called complete combustion this is called complete combustion all right so in this case you are you are getting so clear idea what is complete combustion but on the other hand on the other hand even it is incomplete combustion that in incomplete incomplete combustion incomplete combustion incomplete combustion takes place in the presence of less amount of oxygen in the presence of less amount of oxygen in the presence of less amount of oxygen what is that this if when combustion takes place when combustion when combustion takes place in presence of in presence in presence of ha na less oxygen less oxygen it produces it produces it produces carbon monoxide it produces carbon monoxide it produces carbon monoxide so dear students that is called incomplete combustion that is called incomplete combustion i think this is clear to all of you give your answer in the chat box incomplete combustion sufficient oxygen is supplied for it for it to happen while incomplete combustion it's not incomplete chemical reaction yes theek hai very good i am giving likes to all these things yes i am giving likes to all of this please participate in the discussion please participate in the discussion properly yes i am i am giving likes to all the responses who are very responsive in the class i am giving likes to all those things all those replies <coughs> please don't worry about your wrong or right replies okay please be responsive in the class well i am getting uh, to getting ahead now here sir incomplete reaction takes place in the second case very good basto you are trying good job so in complete combustion the hydrocarbons burn completely in order to release carbon dioxide and h2o theek hai achhi baat hai and in other cases it is not burning completely so it gives carbon monoxide where carbon dioxide is less dangerous than carbon monoxide point to be noted my dear students carbon monoxide is more dangerous in comparison to carbon dioxide carbon monoxide is more poisonous actually you can say poisonous gas so here we get to know that 
that combustion is if if combustion is an output that then, then this output can be possible in two ways one is complete combustion and another is incomplete combustion okay so that's how we can get to know that there are two types of combustion on the basis of how what is the so in the incomplete combustion what happens energy production is less but in the complete combustion energy production is very high so when you burn any petrol so when the when you are riding on a petrol car petrol car has got higher efficiency in comparison to the diesel car why because in diesel the carbon uh, dioxide formation is very less but kya hota hai usme complete combustion ke chances bahut kam ho jate hain lekin phir bhi jab bhi aap petrol apna le chahe fuels le get your engine properly serviced get your car serviced properly get your vehicle serviced properly so that the engine promotes complete combustion of the fuel so if complete combustion of fuel may prevent any kind of black smoke or or the poisonous smoke coming out from the vehicle so proper servicing proper servicing of the engine helps to helps to uh, get um, um, get maximum output of from the fuel okay so here we can we can uh, be generate awareness also through this classroom that our machines which are using any fuel to be burned they should be washed and cleaned properly so that the fuels can totally burn and complete combustion can take place so complete combustion takes place then it gives carbon dioxide that's it okay bastav i have seen your answer and this answer was same as it was given by bible at least you have taken it very good so now we are trying to understand that complete combustion is good for the machine reparts all right so that's why acha aage badhte hain ab hum log आजकल इंजन में बहुत सारा इवोल्यूशन हो चुका है बहुत अच्छा अच्छा इंजन आ रहे हैं so let us move ahead towards another slide now so what we are trying to understand here my dear students that earlier we need we got to know that um, that the combustion is on the basis of on the basis of amount of energy na amount of energy or or or, or, or the production by product kya by product hota hai so on the on the presence of by product we got to know that there are two types of combustion one is complete and one is incomplete lekin ab hum log dekhenge ki on the basis of conditions in which the combustion has taken place and in the way on the basis of ways what it has taken place combustion can be classified into combustion can be classified into how many kinds combustion can be classified into how many kinds on the basis of conditions situations on on the basis of what they give out okay on the basis of how they occur the combustion can be of how many kinds now response 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 how many types of combustion can be classified just write number how many types just write number how many types how many types of combustion three three types of combustion very good three types of combustion well on the basis of conditions there are three types of combustion on the basis of previous of previous means presence and absence of oxygen it can be of two types but on the basis of you know like um, uh, what they how, what do they give out output na no? what do they produce there are three types of combustion very good today children are looking very responsive and they are trying to learn now so here we can come to this point my dear students let us see combustion is of three kinds one is rapid combustion ek hota hai kya hota hai ki jaise hi aap apna match stick ko kisi match stick ko kisi uh, candle ke samne laate hain chahe fir kerosene dala hua koi lakdi ke samne laate hain ya petrol dala hua kisi kapde ke upar laate hain to aap kya karte hain ki chahe wo aap karte hain तो इन दैट केस व्हाट हैपेंस द कंबशन टेक्स प्लेस वेरी रैपिडली तो जस्ट व्हेनेवर यू ब्रिंग अ ब्रिंग योर मैच स्टिक इन फ्रंट ऑफ कैंडल और एनी एनी काइंड ऑफ सब्सटेंस व्हिच इज डिप्ड इनटू सम फ्यूल देन इट कैचेस फायर इजीली सो इट इट टेक्स प्लेस 
rapidly hai na it takes place rapidly so that rapid kind of fire that rap, chahe petrol dal ke karo chahe kerosene dal ke karo chahe wax se ho man kisi bhi kisi bhi condition mein if the if the fire is catching at a very high speed then that kind of combustion can be called as rapid combustion that can be combustion is called rapid combustion theek hai ऑन द अदर हैंड कभी कभी क्या होता है समटाइम्स सम सब्सटेंस कैच फायर ऑटोमेटिकली सम नो एक्सटर्नल हीट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दैट नो एक्सटर्नल हीट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दैट ऑटोमेटिकली दे कैच फायर एट सर्टेन इंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइम देर आर टू एग्जाम्पल्स शोन हियर एग्जाम्पल्स शोन हियर This is actually. Can you see this paper? Unmute and say yes or no. Can you see this paper? Unmute and say yes. So this paper is actually a filter paper, and this is held by a tong or a clip, है ना? In the laboratory, it was dipped in white phosphorus. It was actually dipped in white phosphorus. So जैसे ही इसको एयर में लाया गया, it caught fire. it does not require any external heat no external heat is required in this category so it did not require any external heat rather iske alawa besides ek aur example aapko jo forest mein kya hota hai kabhi kabhi nobody is going to give kerosene there nobody is going to pour petrol in the forest nobody is going to pour any kind of diesel or any naphtha in the forest to care, to to burn the forest rather sometimes they themselves dry and themselves catch fire so that kind of combustion is called a spontaneous combustion that kind of combustion is called a spontaneous combustion acha kabhi kabhi kya hota hai ki when respond when the combustion is taking place when combustion takes place then they give out huge amount of gases they give out huge amount of gases huge amount of gases plus enormous amount of heat enormous amount of heat is given out this much heat plus huge amount of light also huge amount of light also and a huge amount of sound so gas plus enormous heat light and sound so that kind of combustion is called explosion that kind of combustion is called explosion is my concept is the is the lecture clear to all of you is the lecture clear to all of you the network is slow that's why i am giving late answer oh sir theek hai beta koi baat nahi theek hai koi baat nahi so yes is the is the is the classification of combustion clear to all of you combustion is clear to all of you the, the key points are written in the slide please keep your eye open it's once again i recapitulate what we are trying to understand here is that the types of combustion there are three types of combustion based on what how they occur number 1 if it occurs at a very high speed for example burning of a candle or any any wood firewood or or anything that is dipped into the fuel and and brought um, when the burning matchstick is brought closer to them and it catches fire so that is called a uh, rapid combustion on the other hand when no external heat is required but still combustion takes place then that is called spontaneous combustion and sometimes when combustion takes place then it produces huge amount of gas plus heat light and sound so that kind of combustion is called explosion so if this is clear then give your thumbs up in the chat box if the slide is clear give your thumbs up in the chat box hiroshima nagasaki explosion occurred it occurs in the war also anywhere when the bomb is even jab aap patake chhodte ho na so that is also kind of explosion only that is also a kind of explosion only okay if the slide was clear your thumbs up is coming it makes me very much clear that i should move forward now very good chaliye aage badhte hain ab hum log next to so, jab fire hoga fire is a dangerous thing now fire is a dangerous thing so it must be it must be prevented or if it not if we could not prevent it then we should stop it Yeah, whenever you travel in the train where whenever you travel by plane whenever you visit any office commercial places complexes shopping malls hospitals you visit any a refinery also you come to school everywhere you are familiar that something is hanging on the wall like this something like this is hanging on the wall and one message is given near that that is written stop fire 
सो स्टॉप फायर कैसे देर आर एक्चुअली देर आर सम वेज वाई कैसे हम लोग लिखते हैं कि स्टॉप फायर वाई शुड हाउ शुड वी स्टॉप फायर तो इसके पहले हमको बैक टू वन स्लाइड जाना पड़ेगा वेयर वी लर्न वट आर द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ फायर टू ब्रेक आउट पहले हमको समझना पड़ेगा कि फायर नीड्स वॉट थिंग्स वॉट आर द थिंग्स दैट सपोर्ट फायर सो यू रिमेम्बर दैट फायर रिक्वायर सपोर्टर ऑफ कम्बशन फायर रिक्वायर सपोर्टर ऑफ कम्बशन फायर रिक्वायर कम्बस्टिबल सब्सटेंसेस फायर रिक्वायर इग्निशन टेम्परेचर ठीक है सो सपोर्टर ऑफ कम्बशन कम्बस्टिबल सब्सटेंसेस इग्निशन टेम्परेचर तो ये अगर ये तीन चीजें जब तक नहीं रहेंगी फायर विल नॉट ब्रेक आउट सो अगर हम इन तीन चीजों को हटा दें कैन वी स्टॉप फायर अगर हम इन तीन चीजों को हटा दें कैन वी स्टॉप फायर गिव यू रिस्पॉन्स कैन वी स्टॉप फायर बाय रिमूविंग ऑल दिस थिंग्स कैन वी कैन वी स्टॉप फायर बाय रिमूविंग ऑल दिस थिंग्स कैन वी स्टॉप फायर बाय रिमूविंग ऑल दिस थिंग्स सो ऑब्वियसली अगर आपको कॉमन सेंस आप यूज करोगे तो आपका आंसर पहले ही मिल चुका है दैट फायर रिक्वायर्स फर्स्ट थ्री थिंग्स वन इज द सपोर्टर ऑफ कम्बशन सेकेंड इज द कम्बस्टिबल प्रेजेंस ऑफ कम्बस्टिबल सब्सटेंस एंड थर्ड इज द अचीवमेंट ऑफ इग्निशन टेम्परेचर दैट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड किंडलिंग टेम्परेचर ठीक है तो हाउ टू स्टॉप फायर तो फायर एक्सटिंग्विशिंग इज ऑल्सो जस्ट अपोजिट टू दैट it should be that in the principles of following principle can be used over here i'm coming back to that the principle of fire extinguishing is this remove all the combustible substances number 1 remove all the combustible substances number 2 if it is still burning then cut off the supply of air what is air air is the supporter of combustion cut off the supply of air cut off the supply of air again cut off the supply of air करने के बाद अगर उससे भी नहीं हो पा रहा है देन यू हैव टू कूल द बर्निंग सब्सटेंस बिलो देयर इग्निशन टेम्परेचर कूल द बर्निंग सब्सटेंसेस बिलो देयर इग्निशन टेम्परेचर सो हम अगर इतने तीन में किसी अगर हम तीनों कर दिए तो बेस्ट इफ आई एम एबल टू डू वन ऑफ दिस आल्सो देन आल्सो वी आर एबल टू कंट्रोल द फायर ठीक है सो इन दिस वे वी कम टू कम टू नो दैट ऑन द फॉलोइंग प्रिंसिपल्स द फायर एक्सटिंग्विशन कैन बी अचीव्ड number 1 is the remove all the combustible substances number 2 cutting off the supply of air supporter of combustion can be done theek hai which is which is the support of combustion we can also cool the substance burning substances below their ignition temperature right now so that fire extinguishing is actually a challenging job but still it's it's in skill you should learn all these things and many times what happens our nrl people they also come and they show their demo activities how to fight fire in your compound right so you might have also observed that and you have learned how fire extinguishing is done hmm let's go ahead now my dear students based on their mechanism of working based on how they work there are following four types of fire extinguishers there are following four types of fire extinguishers and in that we require to know about each and everything theek hai to fire extinguisher can be of four types either no in the normal cases what happens water is also water is used as fire extinguisher in the old movies also in the real in the real life also everywhere generally fire breaks out due to due to rapid combustion due to rapid combustion So, or any other factor, but generally, what happens? People generally access to water, and they pour water on the fire. So, for water can be used as fire extinguisher. Second is the soda acid fire extinguisher, which was shown by the people of our of our you know safety department. They come and show soda acid fire extinguisher. Sometimes they also show foam type fire extinguisher. foam type fire extinguisher and the third and the fourth one is the carbon tetrachloride fire extinguisher there are four types of fire extinguisher which we are going to list and we will learn about all these kinds of fire extinguisher in the next class please type in the chat box what have we learned so far today
we had learned what is combustion theek hai we had learned what is combustion we learned what is the difference between combustion and respiration theek hai we learned about what is complete combustion what is incomplete combustion theek hai we also learned about uh, the sub, what are the substances based on what can be burned what is combustible substances and what are non combustible substances we learned about uh, conditions necessary for combustion conditions necessary for combustion we learned about conditions necessary for combustion we learned about conditions necessary for combustion right we learned about conditions necessary for combustion we also learned about what come on type in the chat box what have you learned today we have learned about types of combustion theek hai achhi baat hai combustible and non combustible substances about combustion types of fire extinguisher we have learned what is combustion theek hai achhi baat hai we don't learned about combustion and respiration ha huh? so these are the things which you have kept you you all were so attentive that you remember what you have learned today right so after this we come to end of the today's class and tomorrow we tomorrow if we have class then we will we will learn about different types of fire extinguisher in details different types of fire extinguishers in detail and we will also catch or cover flames the second part of the chapter second part of the chapter will be flame was the class clearly audible and understandable give your thumbs up if the class was okay if you are able to understand if you understood please give your come uh, give your thumbs up very good total 35 children are visible today how many present who is the attendance monitor okay please give you uh, uh, rashika please write uh, total present today Forty-two were present, so I have received thirty-five right now here. So please uh, check, huh? Who all are present? I am sending the attendance list in in the WhatsApp group. Thank you, and start leaving the meeting. Everybody should leave the meeting now. God bless you and have a nice day. Yes. All right. Welcome. All right have a nice day all of you